Hi guys, it's Mark Abyss here and we're back with another song reaction and today we're going to be doing the song Loop Share by School Food Punishment. I've heard one second of this song and it was quite loud. You guys have no idea how many intros I have to delete when I'm, when I'm like, when I'm editing my videos. It's so bad. It's not even that loud. It's not even that loud. Yes. This is emo as fuck. It's just this. This is brilliant. This is absolutely. This, this is brilliant. And it's emo. See, any of you guys is like, nah, it's rock. It's rock. Nah, it's no. Emo. I liked the intro because the intro felt as if the intro had started way before I ever pressed play and it felt like I was interrupting the song. Like, it just. It, it just seems to just already be playing when I press play, which I thought was kinda cool. I was like, it just comes in out of fucking nowhere. When she comes in, beautiful fucking singing voice, good chord progression, it's just really solid instrumentation, just, it's just a good vibe. So far, I, I'm, I'm quite, I'm quite enjoying this. This, this. this could go, this song could literally go anywhere and I think that's, mm. That last goal that makes it good. The guitar with a heavy fucking delay and the wee kind of echo on it, that's gorgeous. This kind of feels to me a bit like a lot more of a melodic and calm down Jack's Mannequin or Claire de Lune, which is why I'm saying it's emo. It's got a lot of the same kind of vibes as the, the two bands because their two like emo bands are heavy, heavy piano influenced. Yeah, musically, this is fantastic. I really, really like the production on the bits where she's singing because it sounds so spacey. You can tell there's been a lot of effort made to make it so that... Because her vocals are really quiet and quite kind of whispery, but you can make them out really clearly and there's been a lot of effort made to kind of leave that space in there for her voice to settle in and it's, yeah, it's, nice, it's nicely done. <laughs> That bass distortion is 
fantastic because it's so washed out it just sits there in the background and it's just like a low hum her singing in the chorus is just right you guys know my feelings on Dimash I've been over it before I don't think that that guy shows that much emotion whereas this singer is absolutely pissing emotion she kind of reminded me a wee bit of Bjork during the chorus where it was just she's belting it and you like, I mean I can't understand what she's saying but you can feel the like, the passion going through there That was that was legitimately stunning. Stunning. Like so the piano in the background is playing just a lovely little chord progression completely fucking drowned out by a wall of feedback. That I, I don't think I've ever heard like a feedback solo done for so long and so impressively. That was astonishing. And then the drums and the bass were doing were gone fucking mental throughout that whole thing as well. The piano and her voice were kinda of anchoring it so that you were still able to follow what was going through that section. But that section was just pure anarchy. It, and and the thing that was as impressive about it is that up until that point the song had been really restrained. So you didn't like, I didn't f- suspect for a fucking second that they were going to pull out anything like that. That was nuts. And then just the slight pause before you bang into the chorus again. And then her singing, she makes a very, very deliberate difference between the way she's singing the verses and then the power that she throws into a chorus. And it's... it's, a, it's a, I'm going bad to listen to that. That was fantastic. Mother.
Nah, that's good. That's gonna be hard to top. That was that was stunning. <laughs> so, oh, that may be in my top ten songs I've ever had on this channel. That was incredibly good. Um, yeah, I loved that. Everything about that, I, it was perfect. Perfect. What I'll say is right. See the bit at the end, of the chorus, when she just does the, ah. Uh, Hmm. I don't know why, but that just got got me right in the feels. <laughs>